There's still lean times for real estate, so it's fitting. The, skin, the city's skitty, 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 the city's, that's hard to say, the city's skinniest house is up for sale. It is a slim home, but if you want it, you need a fat wallet. CBS 2's Josh Landis went house hunting and has the story. In a city of skyscrapers, it's a sliver of a house. It's not a cookie cutter house. At a little over eight feet wide and 40 feet long inside, it only needs half an address. Broker Alex Nicholas says it's a small house with a big history. Actors Cary Grant and John Barrymore live there, in addition to famous writers. When you live in a house that's eight feet wide, you have to be creative. Mirrors give you a good sense of space. Appliances fit under the counter. But in a kitchen like this, where do you put the stove? The answer? anywhere you can. This was actually a fireplace and it was, uh, you, you know, they, again, it's about utilization of space. That utilization includes a refrigerator under the stairs, stairs that feel like ladders, and one bathroom for all three floors. One of the things you'll have to consider if you move in here is the placement of furniture. I'm just under six feet tall, but if I lay down here, the wide way, I can actually touch both ends of the wall at the same time, something you want to keep in mind if you're picking a bed. The house also comes with its own audience. It's in the guidebooks, and everybody has an opinion. Tiny's cute. Way too skinny. Despite the fact that it has no side windows, it's actually quite bright because the back walls open up into a garden. Still, the selling point is passion, not practicality. It's one of those houses that someone's going to walk in and say, I have to have this. Well, if I could afford it, I would take that in a heartbeat. With an asking price of nearly $3 million, the seller is hoping that you can never be too rich or live in a house too skinny. In the West Village, Josh Landis, CBS 2 News. The house was built in the 1800s on a carriage path between two buildings. It's on the market now, everybody's wondering. Uh, $2.75 million. And did you notice there were no closets? Yeah, so that's hmm. just under a million per floor, I guess, right? <laughs> it has charm. Yes, it does. It's a cute place.